Tagum, officially the city of Tagum, Cebuano, Dakbayan Sa Tagum, Filipino, Lungsod ng Tagum, or simply referred to as Tagum City, is a first-class city and capital of the Davao del Norte, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 259,444 people, it is the most populous component city in Mindanao. It is one of the top most livable cities in the Philippines, and was one of the finalists in most child-friendly city in the Philippines, component category along with Lawag, and Talisay, Cebu, in the recently released 2017 Cities and Municipalities Competitiveness Index CMCI, the city of Tagum ranked third on the overall competitive component cities in the Philippines, second on infrastructure, fourth in resiliency, 17th on economic dynamism and 24th on government efficiency. Geography Tagum has a total land area of 19,580 hectares 48,400 acres, which is predominantly agricultural, and produces various kinds of crops like coconut, rice, Cavendish banana, fruit trees like durian, landzones and other agricultural crops for non-commercial use. The city is strategically located at the northern portion of southern Mindanao and lies in the intersection of three major road network systems namely, the Phil Japan Friendship Highway, the Davao Madi Agusan Road and the soon-to-be-completed Davao Bukidnon Road that connects the city to other major destinations in the region and in the rest of Mindanao. With this, the city serves as a vital economic crossroad not only for the province, but for the entire Davao region as well, linking Davao City to the northern city of Butuan, in Agusan del Norte, Tamati, in Davao Oriental, and the Surigao provinces. The city is located 55 kilometers north of Davao City, the main economic and administrative center of Region 11. It takes about 1 hour and 30 minutes travel to Davao City. The city lies between 7 degrees 26 N latitude and 125 degrees 48 E longitude. It is bounded by the municipalities of Asuncion, New Carella, and Mawab on the north, Mako on the east, and Be Duhali on the west. Carmen lies on its southwestern borders, while it faces the Davao Gulf directly to the south. Barangays Tagum is politically subdivided into 23 barangays. Climate Tagum has a tropical rainforest climate type AF, under the Köppen climate classification system. The city enjoys a weather that remains balmy all year round. It is characterized by a uniform distribution of rainfall, temperature, humidity, and air pressure. It has no pronounced wet or dry season. Weather predictability makes it highly conducive to agricultural production. Temperature ranges from 20 to 32 degrees Celsius and average rainfall is up to 2,000 mm yearly. History Origin of Tagum there is no official record as to the origin and meaning of the name Tagum, but in Maranao Tagum is Inatagum or Inatagum that means lost world or displaced, abandoned, flooded, linked, but a legend explains how the name Magagpo, the city's former name, came about. At the beginning, Magagpo was nothing but a vast wilderness, inhabited by the Mansakas, Mangwangans, Mandayas and the Caligans in the coastal barangays. The name Magagpo was derived from the native word Mago, a name of certain tree, and the UGPO means very high. According to legend, the natives were occupying a river basin inside the thickly covered forest where they could not even see the sun. The creek where the natives dwelt still exists, but the once abundant fresh water is now dead due to pollution. Early development in 1920s and 1930s the first real transformation of Magagpo occurred when the first immigrant, an intrepid pioneer from Moalboal, Cebu, by the name Sulpicio Quaranti, came in October 1929. More migrants came from the Visayas and Luzon. These included Cebuanos like Hermogenes Alboro Misa who owns Misa District and was married to Balbina Narizma Misa. Their family owns almost all of the land in the heart of Tagum. Commercial, industrial or residential property. They even donated a portion of their property to the local government of Tagum which are being used to urbanize the area. Misa property has been utilized for the use of public schools, markets, terminals, malls etc. 
Other pioneers are Don Ricardo Briz and Felix Sanango, the Holanans like Manuel Bauer Suebagio Sr. and Lucio Jumangat, Joaquin Pereiras from Pangasinan and Alfredo Pulmano from La Union and Encarnacion Sacramento and Felipe Sacramento from Ilocos. Physical land developments started to emerge when these migrants organized themselves into the Magagpo Homesteaders Association and bought the homestead of Lolo Mandaya, a native. They subdivided the land into residential lots of 750 square meters each and sold these lots at P1.50 each to newcomers. The amount paid by the buyer also served as membership fee to the association. In 1932, engineers Ignacio and Alab, both from Davao City, together with 15 laborers surveyed the trail for the National Highway. During those times the only means of transportation from Davao City to Tagum was by boat using the Hiyo and Tagum rivers as its points of entry. This explains why the seat of government was first located at Barangay Hiyo, now the Hiyo Plantation in Barangay Madam. Another seat of settlement during was near the river banks of Barangay Pagzabangan, the place where the remains of Datu Bago, the hero of Davao, is buried. The first physical landmarks of Magagpo were a school building, a teacher's cottage, a rest house and a chapel, all of which were constructed by the Homesteaders Association in the early 1930s. Development in the 1940s and 1950s The 1940s saw the establishment of the municipality of Magagpo which was created by virtue of Executive Order No. 452, issued by then Commonwealth President Manuel L. Quezon on June 23, 1941. Before that, Magagpo was merely a district of Davao City. It was made into a regular municipality in 1941 by a bill sponsored by Assemblyman César Sato, Davao's representative to the National Assembly. In 1941 Tagum had its first local civil government under the leadership of Manuel Bauer Suebagio Sr. and Sulpicio Curanti. Both were appointed as the first mayor and vice mayor, respectively. Before the infant municipality could take off, World War II broke out. The war badly damaged the Magagpo settlement. Only five houses were left standing at Magagpo after the liberation. From the rubble, Suebagio and Curanti spearheaded the construction of houses, drugstores, stores and a church which remains on the same site even today. The national government's infrastructure projects such as the Davao Agusan National Highway and provincial roads going to Kapalong and Saug paved the way to the influx of more immigrants to the municipality. The local government of Magagpo was formalized with the holding of the first local election in 1947. Sway Baguio retained his position, gaining a new vice mayor in the person of Lucio Verdita. Significant changes were made such as the renaming of Magagpo to Tagum by virtue of a municipal council resolution. In 1948, Mayor Sway Baguio transferred the seat of government from Hiyo to Magagpo Poblacion. The following year the new municipality of Panabo was born. Vice Mayor Verdita who really hailed from the said place was appointed as Panabo. S. Mayor. This paved the way for Macario Bermudez to become Tagum's Vice Mayor. In the 1950s, Tagum experienced many significant changes, not only in the political arena but also in its physical structures. Under the administrations of Mayor Alicio Villanueva Joaquin and Mayor Hermagildo Belullo, in 1951 and 1955 respectively, the people of Tagum witnessed physical transformations in the town. There was massive construction of roads. The municipal hall was constructed and moved to its present site. The municipal health center along Bonifacio Street was also put up. A public market site was donated by the Pereiras family. In 1954, the boundary between Tagum, Mabina, formerly Doña Alicia, and Compostela was formalized by Republic Act No. 1102, approved June 15. The boundary line between the municipality of Tagum and Doña Alicia is the Dumlin River from the Gulf of Davao to the source of the river and a straight line from said source running northwestward to the concrete monument in the sitio of Libebe. The Hiyo River was considered the boundary between the municipalities of Tagum and Compostela. Economically, Tagum was slowly becoming a convenient place for traders to exchange products with neighboring municipalities. The booming abaca and coconut industries in the early 1950s contributed significantly to the growth of the local economy. Alongside the economic development, came the establishment of two schools, colleges, Holy Cross College, now St. Mary's College, and Mindanao Colleges, now the University of Mindanao, which were then the only providers of tertiary education in the province outside Davao City. 
The presence of these two two schools slowly contributed to making Tagum another possible educational center for Davao. Development in the 1960s and 1970s Tagum's role as an important center for various activities was highlighted in 1967. It was a banner year for the municipality because it became the seat of the provincial government of Davao del Norte, when the whole of Davao was finally divided into three three provinces, del Norte, del Sur and Oriental. Tagum became a capital town, signaling its continued transformation. In the 1971 local elections Baloyo, after 16 years in office, was replaced by Gelacio. Yeon. Jementiza. Fortunately for Jementiza's administration, the economic losses of the dying Abaca sector and the receding importance of the coconut industry were more than offset by the gains of the emerging banana plantations. Indeed, the banana impetus propelled the total development of Tagum into a bustling metropolis. The once sleepy town became the beehive of business activities in southeastern Mindanao. The progressive economy then made it easier for Jementiza's administration to undertake infrastructure development projects such as the expansion of the municipal hall, concreting of the public market through loans from the Development Bank of the Philippines, the asphalting of more municipal roads and opening of more barangay roads. In the process, various offices were created, Municipal Engineering Office, Municipal Planning and Development Office, Municipal Assessor's Office and the Fire Station. Development in the 1980s The 1980s were turbulent years for Tagum, politically speaking. There was a heavy turnover of local officials for various reasons. Tolentino's administration which started in 1980, was rocked by anomalies, thus forcing him to resign from office 16 months after taking his oath. Tolentino's resignation led to the appointment of Prospero Estabio as mayor and Victorio Suebagio Jr. as vice mayor. As a result, there were major changes in the positions of the council members. Like the rest of the nation, Tagum suffered political instability and serious peace and order problems during the first five, five years of the decade. The EDSA revolution in 1986 practically changed the political climate. Baltazar Sater who was appointed OIC mayor then, was elected as congressman in 1987. Victorio Suebagio Jr. eventually assumed the leadership of the town after the 1988 election. In spite of the prevailing political unrest of the early 80s, Tagum continuously enjoyed an expanding economy, though at a slower pace. There might have been a slight slump in the banana industry, but the discovery of abundant mineral resources, specifically gold, in various areas of Davao province triggered the many local economies, not just in Tagum but in the neighboring municipalities as well. Thus, in the later part of the decade, the construction sector grew at an unprecedented pace. Towards the 1990s and onwards, Tagum has been undoubtedly turning itself into a strategic and important growth center in southeastern Mindanao. Development in the 1990s The 1990s have been significant years not only for Tagum, but for the entire Philippine government bureaucracy. There was a radical change in the system of government through the passage of Republic Act 7160 otherwise known as the Local Government Code of 1991. By virtue of the said Republic Act, decentralization had taken off. The former centralized form of government became decentralized through devolution. As an effect, local government units LGUs, were given additional functions, powers, authorities and responsibilities. Although, the decentralization policy of state was very relevant and vital for local and national development, however, there were also problems and issues that were encountered along the process of its implementation. For Tagum, financial and organizational problems were felt by the local officialdom. This was because the former municipality has broader areas of services with only limited financial and manpower resources. But this situation had been gradually resolved through various revenue-raising strategies and grants, aids from the national and foreign funding institutions. One of the significant accomplishments of the officialdom of Tagum during the 1990s was its elevation from a second to first class municipality. This opened a gateway to increase its financial resources through the Internal Revenue Allocation from the national government and local revenues. 
This was under the leadership of Hun Victorio R. Suebagio Jr. who sat as Mayor Tagum for 3-3 consecutive terms 1988-1998. As a matter of fact, during the 1995 election, all incumbent elected officials of Tagum, from mayor down to the municipal councilors, were unopposed, making a significant event in the political history of Tagum. The fast urbanization of Tagum from the late 80s to 1990 which was attributed to the mushrooming of business establishments and other commercial activities, increasing population and services and other factors, has caused various problems and needs, like roads, drainage, the increasing numbers of squatters, upscaling trend of traffic congestion in major streets, garbage and sanitation, land use and others. Confronted by this situation, the local government of Tagum engaged into the revision of its Municipal Comprehensive Development Plan MCDP. This was spearheaded by the Municipal Planning and Development Office MPDO, with the assistance from the University of the Philippines College of Architecture Foundation, Inc., UP Archie, Manila and the Housing and Land Use Regulatory Board HLRB, Region 11. The MCDP was approved in December 1993, and during that year, Tagum was the second municipality in Region 11 which had an approved Municipal Comprehensive Development Plan. Tagum had increased the number of its barangays when the division of Barangay Poblacion which is an urbanized barangay of Tagum occurred in 1995. This resulted to the creation of four new barangays, namely, Barangay Magagpo North, Barangay Magagpo South, Barangay Magagpo East and Barangay Magagpo West. Another important event happened particularly in 1997 was the transfer of public market to the new P60 million public market which is more than a kilometer away from the old market. The new market was constructed in a 7-7 hectare donated land by the Pereiras family. The said area is also the site of the new Tagum Overland Transport Integrated Terminal TOTIT, worth P60 million and the Livestock Auction Center worth P2.5 million. Foremost of the development of Tagum in the 1990s was its conversion into a component city of Davao del Norte. Congressman Baltazar Sater sponsored House Bill No. 7509 in the House of Congress. Prior to its approval, a public hearing was conducted in Tagum by the Committee on Local Government of the House of Congress, chaired by Congressman Suriaco Alfeller. The said law passed all the requisites in the House of Congress, resulting to its approval. Then, Republic Act 8472, an act converting the municipality of Tagum into a city, to be known as the City of Tagum, was passed to the House of Senate through the sponsorship of Senator Vicente Sato III. Cityhood, late 1990s and beyond 2000 On January 30, 1998, the said Republic Act was signed into law by His Excellency Fidel V. Ramos and it was ratified through a plebiscite in Tagum on March 7, 1998. The incumbent municipal mayor, Victorio R. Suebagio Jr., who served his last term in the office, became the first city mayor of Tagum. His incumbency as the first city mayor was only for a short period, however, because he resigned from the office to seek for higher political position. In the May 1998 election, Suebagio ran as vice governor in Davao del Norte. By virtue of the law, Errol R. Alano, the incumbent city vice mayor took over the position as the city mayor. However, he only served in his capacity as the mayor for short period because he also resigned and sought for higher political position as board member in the provincial government. The next higher in rank in the officialdom was the first city councillor in the person of Octavio R. Valle. By this capacity, he took over the position as the vice mayor and became the acting city mayor of Tagum while running as vice mayor in the May 1998 election. The first elected city officials of Tagum assumed office on July 1, 1998 under the leadership of Mayor Ray T. Uy and Vice Mayor Gerardo R. Racho. In 2001, Uy failed in his re-election bid to Gelacio P. Gementiza, but regained the mayoralty seat in the 2004 elections as Gementiza became provincial governor of Davao del Norte. The 2007 local elections saw the re-electionists tandem UY and Alan L. Rellin pitted against the opposition candidates Melitin D. Lemos and running mate, Getarito T. Gementiza, with the UY-Rellin tandem winning by a big margin of votes. 
At present, the incumbent local chief executives, with the support of the City Legislative Council and various LGU organizations, initiated political will to forge a new brand of public administration. Mayor Ray T. UY then replicated some of his management principles and strategies in the corporate world to his local office, with rapid urbanization, improvement of transportation, infrastructure and public facilities, rise of more businesses and improvement of lives amongst Tagameños. In 2008, due to these improvements, Tagum became the second first-class city in Davao region, next to Davao City, with a combined income of PHP 463,476,022.99 as recognized by the Department of Finance and Department of Interior and Local Government. The 2010 general election saw again the UY Relin tandem against 1st District Congressman Errol Alano and the tandem of Jamendiza Aventurado. UY and Relin won by a landslide and were proclaimed days after the said election. In 2006, Tagum became the palm tree city of the Philippines. It also holds an unofficial record for having the tallest Christmas tree in the Philippines. At 153 feet tall, the stunning structure erected at the Freedom Park at the back of the city hall rivaled Puerto Princesa City's 100 feet tall Christmas tree. Tagum is also the home of the world. S biggest wooden rosary, made out of ironwood, located at the Christ the King Cathedral, also one of the region's biggest Catholic churches. Since 1999, Tagum annually hosts the Musicahan Festival aimed at showcasing the musical talents of Tagameños, Mindanaoans and Filipinos in general, draws thousands of visitors both locally and internationally. Currently, the city is the only one in the Philippines to have a direct joint agreement with Venezuela for cultural exchange, in line with the 11th Musicahan Sa Tagum in 2011, thus supporting the city's claim as the cultural center of Mindanao, and as affirmed by the University of the Philippines Diliman College of Music and College of Arts and Letters. Tagum hosted three major national competitions in 2010, to wit, the National English Jazz Chants Festival, the National Schools Press Conference and the 9th Musicahan Festival. The third International Rondala Festival, the first international competition Tagum hosted in 2011, implanted the city into the roster of cultural hubs in Southeast Asia. In recognition for the city efforts in strengthening literacy in the region, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO, will confer the honorable mention for the King Sejong International Literacy Prize to the City Literacy Coordinating Council of Tagum for its Peace Management Literacy and Continuing Education through Night Market program. Vice Mayor Alan L. Relland succeeded UY as the City Mayor during the 2013 midterm elections, with Getarito, Boy T. Gemides a succeeding Relin's earlier post. Demographics Economy Tagum, from being a predominantly agricultural area, has become Mindanao's fastest rising urban city due to its strategic location, being in the crossroads between the rural areas of Davao del Norte and Compostela Valley and the urban metro Davao. Blessed with a developed infrastructure, the city manages to export goods like wood chips, veneer plywood, and wood lumber. Fresh bananas, however, remain as the chief export product. Thanks to the influx of people from the countryside of Davao del Norte and Compostela Valley the rise of human resources has helped a lot in the revenue generation of the city. Tourism has also become of the city's main economic powerhouse lately. With 15 festivals in the city's calendar, small and medium entrepreneurs, or SMEs, and the transportation sector have benefited with the rapid influx of domestic and international visitors visiting the various festivals in the city. The notable growth of Tagum Cooperative being one of the best cooperative in the Philippines with a membership of 83,378 from the city and the neighboring towns and city within the region clearly signifies the city's financial standing and capabilities. Transportation Tagum City is the second busiest city in Davao region and eighth in Mindanao, making the city accessible by land transportation to different parts in Mindanao. 
The existing land transportation in the city consists of jeepneys from nearby municipalities and barangays, single motorcycles and tricycles, pedicab, which is the primary mode of transportation in this city. Public utility vehicles in Tagum City Overland Transport Integrated Terminal bound to following municipalities and cities, Santo Tomas, Capilong, Asuncion, Talangad, Panabo City, Carmen, Braulio Duhali, New Carella, San Isidro, Locke, Maco, Mabina, Pantucan, Mawab, Nabunturan, Banabane, Lupin and Governor Generoso. Bus companies like Davao Metro Shuttle, Del Norte Fighters and Land Car Inc. ply route from Tagum City to Davao City, New Bataan and Panabo City. Buses from Butuan City, Surigao City, Ormoc City, Tacloban City, Manila, Mati City and Davao City are housed in Tagum City Overland Transport Integrated Terminal to cater their passenger needs. Tagum is bisected by N1, Maharlika Highway, which serves as a principal arterial for the city, as well as a major route between Davao City and areas to the north. Other major highways include N909, which serves the adjacent municipalities to the west, and N74, a Pocon Road, which runs to Davao Oriental. Due to the worsening traffic condition in the city, the local government unit and DPWH had agreed on the construction of a 1.6-kilometer flyover along Dong Maharlika. This flyover will stretch from Cap Building, Visayan Village, to Car Asia, Magagpo East. The project costs PHP 3 billion and construction has started in September, 2017. Aside from the reconstruction of Hiyo Port to Tagum International Container Port, the second biggest port in the Philippines upon completion, Tagum City is also eyed to be the site of the new airport that will be constructed in the region. The new airport is planned ahead to decongest the Davao International Airport in the future. Shopping malls and centers Shopping malls include, Gaisano Center Tagum, JS Gaisano City Mall Tagum, NCCC Mall Tagum, Gaisano Grand Mall Tagum, and Gaisano Mall of Tagum, also called G Mall Tagum, Unitop Mall Tagum, Pure Gold Tagum, Tagum Pioneer Buenas, Choice Mart and Davao Central Warehouse Club. Robinson's Place Tagum, which was opened last April 2016, situated at Barangay Visayan Village, one of the largest malls in Mindanao. City Mall, the newly opened mall last February 28, 2017, located at National Highway, is their third largest branch in the Philippines. The construction of SM City Tagum is also expected to start by 2019 right after the opening of SM City Butuan. Health and Medical Services ACE Medical Center, no specific date for the start of construction as of yet. Aquino Specialists Medical Hospital Bishop Joseph Regan Memorial Hospital Davao Regional Medical Center, one of the best public hospitals in the Philippines Medical Mission Group Hospital and Health Services Cooperative of Tagum Midpark Medical Center, under construction Palm City Medical Center, under construction Street. Genevieve Hospital Tagum Medical Center, under construction Tagum Global Medical Center, under construction Tagum Doctors Hospital United Doctors Hospital Tourism Due to improvements of infrastructure, 49 cities and municipalities all over the country from as far north as the town of Aguinaldo in Afugao Province and farther south, the town of Bongao in Tawi Tawi Province, had sent Lakbay Aral tour officials to Tagum. Also, students from different schools and universities in the region have conducted study tours and field trips in the city, due to the diversity of its tourist spots, accessibility in transport and high security standards.
The 14 festivals held around the year also bring tourists, both locally and internationally, to the city, most notably during the Musicahan season. The 2010 celebrations coincided with the city's hosting of the National Schools Press Conference, Durian Festival, Christmas celebrations and the New Year celebrations, where people from nearby Davao City witness the 30-minute fireworks show, as their city government prohibit the firing of any form of fireworks so as to avoid casualties. The 30-minute fireworks are held in Briz District and can be clearly seen at Poblacion, Magdam, Visayan Village and Kanakotan. Aside from that, people from neighboring municipalities and provinces visit Tagum for commercial, business, civil and personal purposes, as the city now hosts major amenities and services that ease up congestion in Davao City. This rate will increase toward the end of this year as more commercial establishments are being constructed in the city, notably malls, hotels, restaurants and public facilities. City Seal Education Tagum is known for its successful literacy program in schools spearheaded by the Project Ray Reading Empowers Youth project and the leadership of the LGU in education-related activities. The city government is also known for their school construction projects, known as LGU-type buildings, built to improve the school facilities in Tagum, in general. Most notable schools with these construction projects are Tagum City National High School, Davao del Norte Pilot Central School and Tagum City National Comprehensive High School. With these, Tagum City won as national champion, component city category, in the search for the most outstanding LGU and the implementation of the national literacy program in the year 2001. In addition, in the years 2004 and 2005, Tagum City ended as second place winner in the national level, component city category, search for the most outstanding LGU in the implementation of the national literacy program. Tagum has been chosen by the Department of Education as the host for the National Schools Press Conference in February 2010, with all public schools housing all participants while two private schools are commissioned as contest areas for writing, layout and scriptwriting events. Tagum has 22 colleges, 12 high schools and 35 primary institutions offering elementary education. Tertiary Education Universities University of Mindanao, Central and Visayan Village Campus, Tagum City, UMTC University of Southeastern Philippines, USEP, Tagum Mabina Campus, Tagum Unit, Colleges Philippine Nippon Technical College, the first Japanese college in Mindanao Rizal Memorial Colleges, Tagum City Campus Secondary education Public high schools Private high schools Media Tagum, being in broadcast range from television and cable stations based in Davao City, has no indigenous media industry until 2005, when Manila Broadcasting Company started airing as Radio Natan Tagum. Four radio stations started airing after the local media explosion in 2007. Another radio station, 100.7 Radio Caritas FM, started airing in the waves by January 2010. And in November 2014, the first Christian contemporary radio and TV station, 93.5 Care Radio and Care TV 9, Care T E L E R A D I O, started airing purely Christian music. Aside from the nine radio stations, Tagum has four AM stations, several local tabloids and newspapers and two local cable channels. PTV Davner TV 48 is the first local TV station to operate in Tagum in 2017, and is currently owned by the government. The LGU also supports in the information campaign through the City Information Office, publishing annual magazines and managing the city government's web portal, where news, visuals, photos, videos and forums are posted. 
Sister cities notable people Errol Alano, politician Jay Durias, singer Maris Rackle, runner-up of Pinoy Big Brother, all in IWA Moto, actress, model and runner-up of Starstruck, Season 3, Ray Tuy, businessman, politician, then mayor of Tagum 1998-2001, 2004-2013 Alan L. Rellin, politician and the current mayor of Tagum 2013-present Pantaleon Alvarez, politician, the current Speaker of the House of Representatives of the Philippines. Philippines and a congressman from the 1st District of Davao, Del Norte Gallery References External links Official website of the City Government of Tagum Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System Tagum.com